All right, so it's uh, October 22nd, and now this uh, screen is kind of messing up. The market is open. I've already made a trade, took out 105 bucks or 21 ticks, and now it's going to town. It looks like I don't know what kind of craziness it's causing to jump around right now. But anyway, here is where. Let me get this uh, straightened out. I sold it at the low here at 81. That's, or 82 was the low. And I want to show that good 786. There, there we go. <clears throat> so I took the high. One, two, three. Wasn't a 786. Sorry. I sold below the low right here. I took out 21 ticks and 61. It looked like looks like it was a good hold. That would have been a good two uh, contract trade. Hang on to the second one and it broke this low here, so it'll probably go down in this area somewhere. I'll be looking for a uh, another one, two, three to the upside and go from there and just check in after uh, after I see something happen all right real quickly we got the uh, Fibonacci set up and the 50% uh, is right here at 5422 618 is 5388 and then uh, as, as I can see it's on down here at 786 um, I would like to see it get down around the 618 and form another one two three pattern and we'll just have to wait and and then the 30 minutes coming up in uh, in 20 minutes so we'll see how that works too all right so i have my order in below the um, 30 minute shakeout and that's bearish but how low will it go i don't know <laughs> it's at the 786 right now um i'll get a 10 tick stop so we'll have to see how much pressure it has as the computers kick in and, and push it on down. We'll see what happens. I also put an order in above this little one, two, three. MACD is going green. It's right. It's going off the seven, eight, six. So let's see what happens here. All right, I've got two contracts on on each one of them. Um, the ES is looking pretty weak right now, pretty bearish. And it looks like it's going to push down to the, well, don't know yet until it happens. But it's looking like it wants to break lower right about now. All right, I went ahead and took profit. Um, I got my first move right here at the, right around the 17 level, 5317, which is the S1. And I moved my stop, other stop down to break even and got stopped out. So it's looking still really bearish, but wanted to cover what I had. I'm up 200, a little over 200 bucks for right the day so I'm going to watch for a uh, turnaround coming up and see what happens here it's got some ways to go though it looks like down all right the reason I did not take this long here's a little one two three one two three uh, the YM kicked in it was it was a good trade there like right there I would have got 20 ticks but the ES was not matched up. So that was the whole reason I did not take it. All right, so we got a <clears throat> bigger one, two, three here. It went up and went a little bit through the uh, 34 moving average. Bounced down. If it breaks down below here at this point and can't break the low, I think it's in the turnaround phase. The ES is already showing that it wants to go higher. So, uh, or at least it has the same setup now as this one. So, I feel I've got a, my 
position is a good spot to be in as far as uh, going long at 53.88. All right, it did break low. So it went below that low right there. I thought it was probably going to get hung up in here somewhere and it didn't. Continued on down, so I will be looking for another entry long position. Uh, we've got one short here off the 34, another short here off the 34. Uh, it may go one more time, but usually three is from what they're saying is the uh, you better start looking for a turnaround. So ES hasn't broken low yet. And I am just going to be patient. All right, so <clears throat> I took a, a loss down in here, trying to get long, and then did something stupid, tried to make that little loss back, and got short, which, no, it was right in here, I think it was. Um, seems like whenever I do something like that, it, it burns me, but hey, 10 ticks. Anyway, I was down to $15 in the negative after being up 200, which kind of got me. But once it got up here to the 34 and had a red candle pullback, I figured it was time to go north. So I bought it above this high right here. I bought two of them. And that was at, uh, let's see, what was that number? Um, yeah, I got it at 53.40 with two contracts. Peeled one off at 21 ticks. So I was definitely in the profit and then moved my stop up here just above this high and I sold it just below the 618 and I've got a let's see $621 profit right now so that's not bad I'm going to call it a day and if, looking here at the uh, 30 minute candle it went low for a little while but then it came turned around and came back up so my theory or my thoughts on all this is, you know, big guys are the buy, the big buyers move the market. They're looking to buy wholesale and sell retail. So they were looking for a buy opportunity down in this area somewhere. That's where they're accumulating it, I'm thinking. So also what I like to look at, as I've said before, is the ES and the YM kind of matching up. So here's where I bought. At the the breakout was 938 candle, and the breakout was 937. So the ES, this is the ES right here, and it was leading the way, which I like it, and it was following in the footsteps right here. So all in all, I'm very happy. That was a great trade, trade trading day. I'm happy to call it a day, and that'll be it. Another day tomorrow.